करुणानो गीत प्रभु जी गायश Today's Mass is offered for the following intentions. For the good health of sick and old in our parish. For the soul of Bernard de Sousa, Mass offered by Felix and Bernadette de Sousa. Thanksgiving Mass to Our Lady of Perpetual Succor, Mass offered by Georgina, Louis and family. For the soul of Kevin Fernandez, Mass offered by family. Thanksgiving Mass to Divine Mercy, Mass offered by Roshni and family. Thanksgiving Mass to Most Holy Trinity, Mass offered by Mohinder and family. For the soul of Nurmala Ben, Mass offered by Rohan Joseph and family. Thanksgiving Mass offered by a parishioner. Thanksgiving Mass to Divine Mercy, Mass offered by B.T. Das and family. For the souls of Sunil Patel and Joseph Xavier, Mass offered by Kunal Joseph and family. For the soul of Dheeraj Christian, Mass offered by Noilet Christian. For the souls of Albert and Sandan, Mass offered by Robert de Sousa and family. For the soul of Sister Konjita, who passed away yesterday at Gomdipur. She belongs to the order of Dominican sisters. God in his holy place, God who unites those who dwell in his home house, he himself gives might and strength to his people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Let us thank the Lord for the gift of this new day. Thank the Lord for all the blessings that He has showered upon us. With the grateful hearts as we stand in front of this altar, let us place ourselves in the hands of the Lord and ask the Lord to bless us, bless our work and bless our families. 
It's also remember and pray for all the people, those who have asked us to pray for their various intentions. We pray for the people, those who are sick, sick in our families. In order to celebrate this Eucharist in a worthy manner, let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, and my, you brothers my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done, done and in what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide. We may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold that even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord said this to me, Go and buy a linen loin cloth and put it round your waist, but do not dip it in water. And so, as the Lord has ordered, I bought a loin cloth and put it round my waist. A second time, the word of the Lord was spoken to me. Take the loin cloth that you have bought and are wearing round your waist. Up, go to the Euphrates and hide it in a hole in the rock. So I went and hid it near the Euphrates as the Lord has ordered me. Many days afterwards, the Lord said to me, Get up and go to the Euphrates and fetch the loin cloth I ordered you to hide there. So I went to the Euphrates and I searched and I took the loin cloth from the place where I had hidden it. The loin cloth was spoiled, good for nothing. Then the word of the Lord was addressed to me. Thus says the Lord. In the same way, I will spoil the arrogance of Judah and Jerusalem. This evil people who refuse to listen to my words, who follow the dictates of their own hard hearts, who have followed alien gods and serve them and worship them, let them become like this loin cloth, good for nothing. For just as a loin cloth clings to a man's waist, so I had intended the whole house of Judah to cling to me. It is the Lord who speaks to be my people, my glory, my honor, and my boast. But they have not listened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response for El Psalm. Let our response be, You forget the God who fathered you. You forget the God who fathered you. You forget the rock who begot you. Unmindful now of the God who fathered you. The Lord had seen this, and in his anger cast off his sons and his daughters. Our response, you forget the God who fathered you. 
I shall hide my face from them, he says, and see what becomes of them, for they are a deceitful brood, children with no loyalty in them. Our response, you forget the God who fathered you. They have roused me to jealousy with what is no God. They have anchored me with their beings of nothing. I then will rouse them to jealousy with what is no people. I will anger them with an empty-headed nation. Our response, you forget the God who fathered you. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. Through the good news, God called us to share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Cleanse my heart and my lips, Almighty God, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 13, verses 31 to 35. Jesus put a parable before the crowds. <clears throat> the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the biggest shrub of all and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and shelter in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like the yeast a woman took and mixed in with the three measures of flour till it was leavened all through. In all this, Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. Indeed, he would never speak to them except in parables. This was to fulfill the prophecy, I will speak to you in parables and expound things hidden since foundations of the world. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sins. The gospel passage of today, Jesus speaks of, speaks in parable to the disciples. Why did Jesus speak in parables? Jesus spoke in parables so that people understand easily and people of all times easily understand what Jesus wanted to say. Jesus compared the kingdom of God to a mustard seed. Mustard seed is smallest of all seeds, but when it grows, it becomes a tree where birds can shelter, take place, make shelter in its branches. The church today is also like a mustard seed. Church must grow where people experience God's love in the church. Once a group of youngsters of the modern world, they were discussing what way we can spread the kingdom of God, the people who are not known Jesus, not known the Lord. As we know, in modern times, people thought about through the social media, maybe by using pictures or WhatsApp or short films, or whatever way, or newspapers, or some short place, which we can communicate the values of kingdom to the people. But then, one of the members said, the best way to communicate to the people is maybe send a Christian family to a new place. The family can give the message of Jesus to the people around. And it is true. When you give example, that inspires people. Jesus lived with the poor people and inspired them. He lived one among them. 
and people could easily identify with Jesus. They experienced the Jesus in their life, and that has spread. That has, they shared that experience with other people. Apostles, they stayed with Jesus, they experienced Jesus in their life, and they shared that experience. That's the invitation that Jesus is giving to us today. That is, what way are we going to spread the kingdom of God? A small measure of living that can make, feed the more than 100 people, big a large number of people, the same way. A small seed can make a, a tree which can shelter the birds, which can give shade to people. The same way, yes, our action can also impact the life, in the life of people. A tree that bears fruit, a tree that is visible, that also immersed in the life of the people. The same way, are we able to live a life immersed with the people? Are we able to give an example to the people? Are we able to be useful for the people, be, be fruitful like the tree? Then I think our life becomes meaningful. The first reading today, reading from the prophet Jeremiah, where Yahweh says, how he loved the people. His love for the people is how when you wear a loin, it is attached to you. The same way the Lord was attached to the people. So much he loved. But people failed to remain faithful. But still he never forgot them. The Lord is always waiting for us to come back to him. Let's make an effort. We pray that we always remain faithful to the Lord. And also, we remain as an example to the people so that others may, others may get inspired to follow the Lord in their life. We pray for that, especially during this Eucharist. Adana Christi Ektama, Apne Sambulu Kevirite, Raino Dano, Ek Jad Benijai Chevirite, Rubisuna Rajya, Akadunema Kevirite Felavishake, Eno Dakra Apeshe, Rubis Hamesha. केवी रीते लोगों ने समझावे दाखला द पता जे लोको सेलाई थी सब यदा लोगों समझ सके कोई पर समय ने लोग जो ही कोई पर प्रदेश लोगों होई देश ने लोगों होई तो ये लोगों बेदा सेलाई थी समझ सके प्रभु सचु क्यों मागे ईश्वर ना राज्य विषय घोषणा करती वाला ये बेदा प्रभु इसने सामल था था अने बेदा ने आमदन � बेटा ये तो करीना बेटा प्रभु से आने बहुत खरीश के केवल इतने एक जार एक जार अपने फॉल आपे अपने छाया डो आपे अने एक जार बेटा जोई शके केवल इतने अपने पन दुनिया माटे केवल इतने मदद रूप बन शके दुनिया अपना प्रोति जोई शके ये माती ये मने प्रेरणा अपन मारी शके इल अपने जीवन फलदायक बने प्रभु सु ने बीजा लोगों समझी सके अनबोई सके अपने जीवन द्वारा ये मटे अपने आक्रस्त एक मां का प्रार्थना करिए अने पवित्र आत्मा अपने बद्दा ने ये मटे प्रेरणा आपे अने अपने हमेशा ये प्रीतु ने राजने कोशना करो अपने हमेशा दौर तारे ये मटे खास आक्रस्त एक ना अपने प्रार्थना करिए पिता अने पुत्र अने पवित्र � तुझने धरूं छू हे मम जीवन नाथ रे अंजलि तुझने धरूं छू हे मम जीवन नाथ रे ले स्वीकारी प्रेमाल प्रभु ले स्वीकारी प्रेमाल प्रभु तारो साथ रे अंजलि तुझने धरूं छो हे मम जीवन नाथ रे मारी इच्छा समाज शक्ति मारी मुक्ति याद शक्ति मारी इच्छा समाज शक्ति मारी मुक्ति याद शक्ति म
Our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and the good of all His holy church. Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, we pray the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with the living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without tent we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Reknaswami, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Bernard de Sousa, Kevin Fernandez, Nirmala Ben, Sunil Patel, Joseph Xavier, Deeraj Christian, Albert Sandan, and also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling of this body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments, and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I Lord, am not, I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only, only say, the say the word, and, and my, my soul shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love and revere you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Lord, now permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
prayer for the eradication of COVID-19. Dear Jesus, Divine Physician and Healer of the Sick, we turn to you in our time of need. Comfort with your grace those who are troubled. Alleviate our worry and sorrow with your gentle love. And grant us the grace and strength to face the COVID-19. Graciously, restore those to health who have fallen ill. And grant us the grace to acknowledge your holy will. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.